Hi, I'm Keith Holland from the Guitar Hospital and Keith Holland Guitars in Las Gatas, California. And uh, we've been talking a lot about um, about the fun little things uh, on electric guitars, like the uh, uh, you know modifying your guitars with different pickups and bridges and capacitors, and, and adding uh, on maybe uh, some locking tuners or uh, uh, some effects pedals, uh, amplifiers, and so on and so forth. That all the fun stuff that goes into modifying your guitar or uh, enhancing it. Um, Let's talk a little bit about uh, custom guitars. Now, uh, a wise man once said, just a few minutes ago, actually, is, is why, uh, why uh, make it into a hot rod when you can just buy the hot rod, right? So uh, uh, it's true, uh, and it's a very uh, it's the thing we do around here a lot. Uh, we we build custom guitars. People come with us to us with their ideas, or they'll see one of our customs hanging on the wall and they'll say, "Hey, you know, I like this guitar, but uh, God, I wish it. Gosh, I wish it had that body on it uh, rather than this." body and I like the shape of this neck and, and I like these pickups and uh, or uh, they might ask us our ideas you know I, I, I like a light guitar but you know I don't want it to be uh, you know not to have enough oomph what do I need to do to do that to, uh, 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 some good output maybe on a light guitar so on and so forth so you know uh, we're experts in this area and uh, there's a lot of us around a lot of people around who do this kind of thing and it may be uh, um, something that you may want to go with someday as a custom guitar I have here, I have four examples of uh, our custom guitars that we build here in the, in the store and um, I'll just let you know what, you know, what, why they're different than what you would buy maybe off the wall um, at, a, at a big box store or even your neighborhood guitar store. And let's take a look at this one first. This is a, you know, just your standard Tele type guitar, Telecaster style guitar. It's, it's got the, uh, uh, the uh, very popular ash body, um, medium weight, um, but you know it's got some features on it that you don't normally see on a guitar that you might pull down off the wall. First of all, it's got a, uh, a you know highly figured flame maple top with a beautiful uh, sunset type um, sunburst on it. Uh, really, really beautiful, beautiful instrument here. It's also got uh, some very good vintage style Seymour Duncan pickups that. Uh, that may, you know, be a better choice of pickups uh, than something you might get off the wall. Also, it this one has a four-position switch on it, uh, which most Telecasters have a three-position switch where you have the bridge pickup, and then in the middle you have both pickups on, and then in the, in the front you have just this pickup on. Well, this one has four positions where you would get the bridge pickup, and you get both pickups on, then you get just the neck pickup. Then in this position you get both pickups on, uh, switches from parallel to series so that you get a fatter, bigger sound uh, rather than that real kind of uh, um, jangly uh, both pickups on sound. It's a completely separate sound that's, uh, that uh, it gives you a better option for, for tone. So that's one thing that it has also, or a couple things it has. Also this has a, uh, a big neck on it. You wouldn't normally see this in a, in a guitar. This neck I got uh, when I got it, it was it was just really big and round, almost too big and round. So I, I shaped it, I added more of a V to it, so it fits the hand well. So a guy may come to me and say, gosh, you know, I, these small necks, they, they bug me, so I really want a bigger neck. And I can shape this specifically to help this person with his hands. Also, this is highly figured. You can see the, the beautiful, beautiful look of that wood, uh, all the bird's eyes in it. and. And very very special piece of wood maple that goes into into building this guitar. So that's that's one option you have, and uh, you know a very viable reason why you would uh, you would get uh, a custom guitar. Also, this one has locking tuners on it. I forgot to tell you about that. They look like vintage, standard vintage tuners, but if you take a closer look, they are locking, and uh, that helps the guitar stay in tune. We talked a little bit about locking tuners as well earlier. Okay, sticking with the Fender vibe, here's an idea. These are what I call A&S guitars, aged new stock guitars. This is actually a brand new guitar that I've made look like it's 50 years old, 50 or 60 years old. And there's a lot of reason why people do this, uh, or why people like these, uh, these type of guitars. And, and uh, I think they're very viable reasons. I'm a big fan of this, uh, this style of guitar because um, when I build these new and I, I put that heavy finish on them, there's something to be said about that heavy finish maybe constricting the guitar a little bit, maybe keeping it a little bit tighter. 
uh, when you when I build the guitar and it's it's new and I start aging and I start removing the finish maybe cracking it uh, chemically as well as uh, uh, putting the <coughs> scratches in the little areas where you would normally have scratches on a 50 year old guitar making it look authentic basically adding the rust into the certain areas and making all the plastics old and worn and when I take the finish and wear the finish down in the areas where uh, might be played a lot, a little bit more. Of course the frets are just like new. Uh, and then wearing the back of the neck a little bit also so that uh, that neck feels really smooth. There's no finish there hindering your hand. It's very, very like a baby's butt. Just very, very smooth. So um, this is a this is a tone monster. When I say it's a tone monster, it's very, very alive, very loud uh, sounding guitar. This also has uh, uh, a little push-pull switch here that, and we talked a little bit about uh, series and parallel. Um, but this actually turns on the neck pickup whenever you want it on. So you have a standard five-way switch here. I call this the Funk 5 switch, where you have the bridge pickup in that position. In the second position, you have these two on. Third position, you have that pickup on. That position, you have these two pickups on. That position, that pickup. So what don't we have? We don't have the option of turning all three pickups on or the two outside pickups on. But with this switch, that turns that neck pickup on anytime you want it on. So if you're back here in that first position where that pickup would be on, and you turn that, you pull that switch out, turns that pickup on. So you've got this two outside ones on. So in this position where you'd have normally have just those two pickups on, you pull that out, turns that pickup on, you have all three pickups on. So you have every, very simply, you have every opportunity to play those pickups in any combination you want. So that's an A&S guitar, an H. New Stock guitar. Uh, Fender calls these uh, Relic guitars. Very, very popular. And um, I don't think it's a fad. I think it's a real viable option in a guitar, a, a very, very usable uh, um, tone a toneful and soulful way to go with the guitar, with the custom instrument. Okay, so then we talk furniture guitars. Beautiful, beautiful wood guitars. This is a um, a koa body with a flame koa top. It's just strikingly beautiful top on this guitar, and uh, it even has wood knobs on it. Uh, really, just the best. It has a um, a small, a very small feeling. Uh, well, medium, medium feel, I guess, a medium small feel to uh, a highly finished uh, mahogany neck. It has locking tuners, has the buzz feeding system on it. So this is for the guy who's really looking for a beautiful instrument, gold hardware, uh, instrument that, uh, that he's proud to play and, uh, and it looks really good on the stand and, and there's a lot of reasons to like a guitar like this. Uh, um, doesn't have any, a lot of bells and whistles. It's just got the you know the three position switch on it, and a volume and a tone control for uh, for master uh, usage, and uh, and that's an example of another uh, just like a high end, um, beautiful beautiful custom made instrument. And then there's the custom all the way instrument. This uh, this is a very interesting guitar. It is a uh, this is actually a a countertop laminate that's on top of here. It was originally an ash body. I put a, a rock granite finish on it. It's actually got a, uh, a rock feel to it. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's kind of rough. And then uh, I put the laminate, I cut the laminate out and attached it on, onto here as well as uh, then I went to, with a vintage vibe kind of thing here with the, the pickups and uh, Bixby style vibrato with the roller bridge so on and so forth. Now this has a push-pull here to turn both pickups in from series to parallel so that when you have both pickups on, like the Telecaster, it, it has a great change in tone to it. So that has the push-pull switch to do that rather than the, the, the four-position switch that the Telecaster had. This has a very small, narrow but wide, I mean thin but wide kind of neck with binding on it. Something you wouldn't normally see too often on a Fender style instrument. Um, this is uh, definitely varying from a Fender, only not in shape, but in everything else, pretty much. Uh, it's, it's got its own vibe to it. Uh, I put it, this is something that I do sometimes to my custom guitars. It's got a little uh, aluminum piece up here. It's called a flying T. It's actually a T uh, 
Um, that's an option that I have on my custom guitars that, uh, that people can, can have the T cut in, or if it's a Model S guitar, Strat guitar, then I put the S on there. And uh, it has lock, this guitar has locking tuners as well. So this is kind of a fun project that, that somebody, uh, just kind of a different style idea that you wouldn't normally find um, top quality components uh, in, in a custom instrument. And that's a, that's a little look at custom instruments and why do people buy custom instruments? Well, it's really, uh, it's really up to the player. It's